Let's dive right into it. And this is in no particular order. So first we got ego lifting. It's a big thing. Everyone goes to the gym. We want to lift like everybody else. We want to lift too much weight. We want to actually control the weight. We want a better mind and muscle connection, better movement, better technique. And that's only going to happen when we take our time actually progressive overloading. So make sure you are progressive overloading and not just jumping on too much weight and not being able to control the weight. Number two is junk volume. We just talked about that for a couple of months now and junk volume is a big thing. Doing too much. Remember what's only required for you to build muscle is 10 to 20 and that's a stretch max hard hard sets throughout the week, not 20 sets in a freaking workout. So again, if I do 20 sets and each set takes three minutes, one minute to do the actual set and that's a max set and like two minutes to rest, it's three minutes. That's only 60 minutes in the gym. And none of you guys are doing 20 sets to be honest. So let's be serious. Again, junk volume is a big thing. I'm just saying it's the quality of the time you have the gym, not all the stuff you're doing in the gym that makes the biggest difference. Number three, full range of motion. Now you could argue this, but for the most part, for a lot of beginners who are working out, learning the actual proper full range before we start to, you know, add some advanced kind of lifting techniques into that, understand full range of motion is gonna be your best bet at improving your overall technique and your muscle growth. Again, when it comes to a healthy joint, it's one that can run through its full range of motion with good mobility. So again, full range of motion is important. Then we are better at that. Then we can maybe cut back on some, on some things, but not all things. Number four, that's training one muscle a week. Remember guys, if you're trying to build muscle, that means we're trying to do sarcoplasm hypertrophy. It means you need to train that muscle group twice a week. So if you're just trying to build the muscle, you want to change your overall musculature, your physique, you want a bigger X frame, V tape, or whatever you want to call it, that you need to be training that muscle group, that desired muscle group twice a week. So think about like a push pull legs training plan or something like that, but that's going to be your best bet in building muscle. Training one muscle group once a week is not going to do it for you. Plus again, training two times a week is going to be that much better for you to learn the movement patterns a lot better. The more frequency, the better habits are created in that time. Number five, having unrealistic expectations in the gym. Again, see this happen a lot of times. A lot of times I get a lot of people ask me, hey Johnny, I don't look like Phil Heath. And I'm like, no, try looking your best, right? Don't try to look like everybody else. Don't try to have these unrealistic expectations of what your body can actually achieve. Yes, genetics play a part in the role of you being able to build the best physique you can build, but build the best physique for you. Don't try and build the best physique that somebody else has. You won't be able to achieve it. Be your best version of you and worry about that alone. Hey guys, check it out. A lot of you guys are watching the video but not subscribed, so do your boy a favor and subscribe to the channel. Also, hit the post notification button as well too because next time a video, you'll be the first one to get it. And guys, hopefully by now you like the video. So if you do, hit the like button. Back to the show. Number six, made up exercise. I see it all the time. It's actually ridiculous. I can't stand seeing TikTok influencers. It's plugging TikTok all over the place. These crazy ass workouts. Stick to the basics. Understand your basic movement patterns. Perfect those first and then jump into some other advanced things. But doing these elaborate workouts don't make any sense. Stick to the basics. Number seven, doing too less weight. Now, this is the opposite of the ego lifting. Basically, those people in there are saying, hey, I just wanna lift the right amount of weight so I can achieve the reps. Don't try and pick a weight just to achieve the reps. Pick a weight that will challenge your form, but not contradict your form, but actually bring you to failure within that set. So if you have 10 to 15 reps, if you can't do the 10 minimum, it's too heavy. And if you can do more than the max, it's too late. So find a load that is gonna challenge you within that rep range. Don't just pick a weight so you can achieve the reps. Number eight, rep Rest times. Rest times is probably one of the biggest things I see in the gym, the biggest mistakes all the time. And that's resting way too long or sometimes way too short. Let's be serious. Most of the time, it's way too long. Remember, if we're just trying to build muscle, sacroplasm hypertrophy, you're just trying to expand the overall glycogen in the muscle, we need to be resting between around 60 to 90 seconds. I push it from a minute to two minutes, basic from there. But again, we don't want to rest too long because if we rest too long, we're over resting, we're over recovered, and we basically have to start all over again. And if we rest too short, short, we're not give ourselves an adequate enough time to recover for the next set. So remember, keep your watch at hand, keep your eye on that watch and make sure you're sticking true to your rest times. And number nine, understanding the training system for you. If you're just trying to build muscle, again, we're going to talk about high sacrifice hypertrophy. But if you're trying to just get strong, we're looking at myofibular hypertrophy. Those are two different things. So if you're doing rep ranges of like three to five reps and you're trying to build overall muscle, you're not going to do it. Not adequately and not efficiently. If you want to build muscle, we have to keep a rep range between 10 to 15 reps with the overall set lasting between 30 to 45 seconds and resting about a minute to two minutes and then your load is about 70% of your one rep max. If you're trying to get strong and just get overall strength, if you're a power lifter, then we're doing more so reps that are less than seven reps. We're resting between two to five minutes and our load is gonna be around 85% of one rep max. So understand what your goals are and make sure your training correlates with your goals. Number 10 is copying workouts from your favorite enhanced bodybuilders. Remember, a lot of you guys aren't enhanced and those who are, doesn't really matter. Don't try and copy those of professional bodybuilders because those 
those guys can get away with a lot of things that you can't. They've taken a lot of time. They've had years and years of practicing their craft and no matter what they do, they are going to build muscle. But guess what? You are not them and they're not you. So make sure you stick to what you can do and don't try and copy what your favorite enhanced bodybuilder can do. Hey, what's up guys? A lot of what I go over, I go over in depth with my coaching and my free training series. So if you wanna know more about that guys, hit the description below. And that's it guys. That's my top 10 mistakes that beginners and intermediate and advanced lifters make. Hope you guys enjoyed the video guys. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe and share. You know what comment with the telling it is, transparent, vulnerable truth. For coaching, johnachieve.com guys. If you wanna know more about my coaching guys, 15 to 30 minute consults, identify the consult, I deduct it off any package that you pick. Guys, hit the description below for those discount codes and promo codes that'll save life or change life for the better. Like Johnny10, 10% off, bluestarnutraceutical.com. Head over there right now and get yourself 10% off right now. Link is in the description. Also guys, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Send me your progress pics, your training pics, and your video clips. And I'll repost it for you because you know what it is. Iron sharp is iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.